given to the most high Yah. All glory given to the highest. Be grateful for the life that he has given you. Be grateful for the things that he has done for you. Be grateful for the things that he has planned in your near future. Bless all the things that he has given you for he is worthy. Blessed be Yah's name and Yahshua HaMashiach's name for he is worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory given to the most highest. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. It is your brother Jehoshiah Israel. We are back in the sanctuary. Family was good, was good. A thousand blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there. What is good, family? A thousand blessings. All of his glories be upon you. What is good, my family? So, you know, family, I got, I got Yeshua in the background and... I feel that that's that is a, a proper representation of what he represents. And you'd be all like, what do you mean, Jehoshaphat? What do you mean now? As you can look at all his clothing family, you see that those are all the rags of every single nation of every country on the planet family. All of that stuff. That's just not your grandma's quote that's on him like that. You know what I'm saying? It's all the different flags of, of all the many different nations, family. And that's what the father, he said, family. He said, family, rejoice, ye Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? Rejoice, you know what I'm saying? Because you are given a chance to count yourself noble with his children if you only able to get yourself right. He is the, the, the house of many nations, family. You know what I'm saying? Within his kingdom, family, within his throne, family, of his holy temple of what he called it, family, the house of many nations, family. So what would I, what kind of what kind of what kind of dumb person would I be to sit here and say, well, you know, I love Yah, but I'm going to just hate on me some white people. Uh, oh, I love Yah. I'm going to hate on me some Mexican people. Oh, I love Yah. I'm going to hate on me some white people. No, family. No, family. You can't even do it, family. You can't even do it, family. And you see the hatred that's in so many different people heart family so as i look at this as i look at this this picture family you know what i'm saying the the rep the, the representation of what it represents it, it's, it's on point family because he came to save all men family all of us all the whole the whole mankind family and you'd be like, whoa, whoa, brother, I was watching the geographical channel and you don't say, nah, family, I'm not like them people. We're not mammals. You know what I'm saying? I believe in the most highest family. I believe in every single thing that he said. And they would say some things like that, family. They, they would sit up and do, I'm talking about men, family, far as in all the different faces of men that live on, that occupy this world, family. You know what I'm saying? That's who I'm talking about. Them scientists, people, they'd be like, well, everything is mankind. Everything is an animal. Yeah, they'd be talking about bugs and roaches. They, they, got this, they got it all confused, family. They really do, family. So when I say mankind, I mean all of any, any man or woman who live on the face of this world got a chance to know Yah, family. It's a damn shame that so many different people refuse him, family. They refuse him, family, so much, family. But what is good, family? We, we, we here now, family, in the sanctuary. And it's some things that I, I want to go over. And you know where this week lies, family. It lies in you being holy in all of your dealings, family. I was trying really hard out there to be a holy man of Yah, family, in all of my dealings, family. I was listening to them people dried up conversation with love and honor and respect. I was trying to help people, family. You know, it, it takes a real man to have love in their heart, family. It takes a real man to walk in compassion, family. And that's everything of what our father is asking. That, that, that alone should give you strength, my brothers and sisters. It should give you strength when you out and you facing this cold world and you still got to act right, even though you see these people and they don't give a damn, family. You know what I'm saying? You see them and it's not they. I, I, okay, some of them, it's not their time. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of them that's not going to make it, family. You could say I'm judging all day long. This is the harsh reality of how this world world is family and as you see them doing whatever the hell they doing this shit gives you strength family right here right now that you doing it family and that means something to him family it really does family it means something to to yashua to see at your given point in your life that you doing everything that is right inside of his inside of him of how he judging you and how he looking at you family so each and every day as I start up, family, I got that in my heart. I got that in my mind. I got it in my spirit, family. I really do, family.
And you know what this thing called love, this world right here want to kick that out the door, family. It wants to say that you weak because you want to like, 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 look at your, your, your black demons, family. Look at your brothers, the black demons. I hate to call them your brothers, but they your, they your so-called people. And and a lot of them operate on hatred. That's all they have. That's all they know how to do, because that's what their will is to hate family. And the things that I'm sitting here telling you to, to be to walk in love and love people. That's hard when you're facing against black demons in this world. And Jesus is still watching you. The Lord is still watching you, family. You know say he watching you while you're dealing with all of this evil that's in this world. And we're being counted, family. Either worthy or unworthy, family. If we unworthy, we might as well kick the dust and go be like them people, family, and don't even care, family. We fighting, family, and he see it, family. You should have strength and to know that your master is watching you. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you be doing, that's the same thing he would have had done, my brother. You know what I'm saying? If you look at his sister, anything that you you did, that's something that he would have had done, family, and that's the only thing that matters, family. You look at the other people up over there, they don't even got it because they don't even want to try family and they don't even know that this is the real test right here how much time remember how we was talking about how much time you have family they let that clock just keep on slipping family just keep on ticking and slipping family all the way on them family they look up and then they have no time but look at this time we taking them serious family it's a damn shame the way you see me now though my mannerisms how i speak you know what i'm saying what i'm about you know what i'm saying it's a damn shame half of your brothers out there they gonna wait until they 60 before they start acting like me Guess what, family? I'm a, I'm above the curb, family. I'm already acting like this now, family. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing, we've been studying our father for a long time, family. We've been studying to be what he wants us to be and live as he wants us to live. And it's a fight, family. Oh, brother, what do you mean it's a fight? It's a fight to do good in the, in the evil world, family. In a cruel, evil world, family, where the majority of people do evil and get away and do all of that stuff, family. It's hard, family. So you can't say you're not fighting. Sometimes you want to give up and give in to it, but you can't. You got to keep on going strong, my brothers and sisters. You got to keep on going strong and know that you're doing it for a purpose, for a reason. You ain't doing this without a cause, family. All this goodness that you do in your life. I love the fact that your master, he'll start me up in my day and he'll tell me, family. He'll tell me everything that I that, that I got to do in that day. And it sounds like he's singing to me, family. I'm not even going to lie to you, family. Straight up, family. I put that on Yeshua HaMashiach. You call him Jesus Christ? Family, when he starts you up in your day and, and he starts telling you everything that you got to do, family. It's like he's singing in my ear, family. And I'm not alone, family. And he stands with me, family. And he stands for me family he took out his time to tell me what to do in my day family how i would have to do it family i don't know what i'm gonna be facing in my day yashua already seen it family he already seen it he was already there family and when you pray it is like a deadly weapon family and to having your arsenal family when you're dealing with the spiritual and the physical world family praying is very deadly family i mean that family just like faith family it's very deadly family so when when you pray in your morning time and your father comes to you because it's either going to be one or the other either it's going to be your yeshua or it's going to be your father and they're going to come to you and it's like it's like they it's like they talking to you and they telling you and you will know the difference we, we don't play no games over here. You're going to know the difference. I can't tell you what the difference is. You're going to know the difference between your father and your master. It's a difference, family. And when they telling you that stuff in the morning time, it's like they're, they're, they're saying sweet things in your ear, family. It's like he be over there singing in my ear, family. I'm telling you, family. I, I sit up there, family. It's like he got his guitar string and everything. And he over there singing in my ear, telling me all the stuff I got to do in my day. It's a beautiful thing, family. Throw your hands up if you know what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful thing, family. You know what I'm saying? To have him in your life, family, dealing and operating in every single thing that you do. Now, you already know, family, we've been we've been all week. Well, it's barely November the 27th. It's Tuesday and the starter of the week, family, of being a holy man all day long. That's all I've been thinking. That's all I've been trying to do, family. And what the Lord told me when he told me that I better be sweet in my actions. So I've been trying to pour my sweetness on these people. And family, I learned, family, um, racist people, they're not accepting love, family. You know what I'm saying? They're not accepting it, family. I told you, family, people who are hate-filled, they will run from love, family, or they'll attack it. Which one are they doing, family? Which one? They can't even be around it like that, family. They got that evil up in them, family. You know what I'm saying? They got that evil up in them. So, 
I learned, family, these old racist people, they they won't even let you put no love on them like that. And a lot of my brothers, they be like, oh, Joe, so you weak, you weak, you would say something like that. Hold up. Hold up. I know you ain't talking to me. Because if you talking to me and you have that rhetoric, you do not know your master. And if you don't know your master, then that means you ain't got no damn power and you ain't got no face to talk. You know what I'm saying? Of what you think you talking about. You don't know nothing to me if you don't know the master. Do you understand that? Now, check this out. Love, family, the, the, the evil people they run from it, family, or they attack it, family. I found out, family, that, that racist people, they love being racist, family. They not try to throw some love on them and see the hatred that come out of them, family. I'm just saying, family. And, and it doesn't need, it, be a, let it be a black demon as well, family. You know what I'm saying? Go to a black demon and try to show him some love. All he got for you is hatred back, family. That's all they got back, family. That's all they do all day long, family. You know how we be sharpening our spears and our swords on this love and this truth and of his divine, of his great, of his holiness, of all of his righteousness and truth. Uh, what we be doing up over here, they be up over there in the dark, family, with all their evil that they want to keep concealed from all the different eyes of men just hiding in the dark, family. They had never come to the light, family. As soon as I start shining that light on them, it's going to show you all the things that they was doing, family. All of that evil and all of that stuff, family. Up over there in the dark, hiding in the dark with all that damn evil, family. All that damn evil, family. And then I told you, family, I told you, family, the 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 evil that they give into when you see them out in the street and they give into the evil family. They do you know later on in that nighttime or that day they're gonna be thinking about why they did what they, they don't even know why they just gave into the evil family. It took a hell of them, family. Get wrapped up. That's why I'm trying to get you wrapped up in all this love of all this power of all his grace for us from the Father and not I, family, for I live upon his love, family. I need it, family. I operate it on all day long, family. You know what I'm saying? I'll be telling you, you need to be counting all these things that's going on in your life family of what well, what you doing wrong family so you can so you can fix these things and work at these things so you can get better family so you can family the main reason why i want you to go to a church family okay you free to come here any day all day long and get all the knowledge the wisdom and everything that you can get from me family and yes family i got them goods just like you up over there family but that's not the point family the point is that you get an even like when you come to this nine o'clock prayer hour you're prayed for but i need you to, to be around others who see your face so those brothers and sisters can pray for you too brother sister you know what I'm saying? You get no pass on that. You know what I'm saying? You need to show yourself up in there. I told you, family. I told you, family. What you think a church is not what you think it is like that, family. A, a real church is a community of people. If you want to get basically, if you want to know what a real church is, a, a church will be a real community of people. You know what I'm saying? A community, family, a family. You're joining a family, family, a community that has uh, of, of operations. You know what I'm saying? These, these brothers do that. These sisters do that. But we're all working together as a family and we don't. So it's like a marriage family. You, you just don't leave your brother. You know what I'm saying? You just don't come back to your brother. Oh, I don't want to come back to the church. No, no, no. You married to that church over there. Those are your brothers and sisters. This is a family. If you really want to know what a church is, you know what I'm saying? I've been breaking all these things down to you so you can understand them, family. And I want you to go to a church with brothers and sisters who will see your face and pray for you because it is very important for you to have people praying for you. It is very important, family, for the more people that you know that will pray for you is more people in your corner, family. I'm trying to tell you, family, and I tell you right now, anytime the Lord puts somebody on your heart, you need to go ahead and pray for them people, family. I'll be praying for all kind of people all day long, family, as soon as they start talking to me, family white asian my hebrews out here you know what i'm saying mexicans white people it doesn't matter because they're all children of god if they choose to serve the most highest family if they choose us i'm praying for them all family you know what i'm saying when, when when my when my sister girls from different races come up to me and they tell me they problems what they going through i will set aside my time and pray for what my sister is going to i know she not a hebrew i know that 
I know she ain't no Hebrew. I know she Mexican. I know she might be white. I know she might be Asian, but they going to tell me they possible. So I'm going to pray for my sister up over there because she is a believer of the most highest family. So when these people come across your mind at any given time of what you're doing, it's time for you to pray. They really need your prayers, family. All the heavens know that it's calling right now. And anybody who could give up a pray for that person, it's their time to be prayed for right now, family. They need that prayer right now, family. All of them people that they know, family, and every fast of their life do you understand how important this is you know what i'm saying so that that's why i want you to join a church i want you to be assembled with as many as brothers and sisters and it just don't have to be at a church anybody that you can align with for this is a family you a family when you come up over here you and my family when you spend time up over here in the sanctuary and we cares about you and we praise for you for we love all of his children family we, we love people who choose to do right we love people who choose to stay on his will family they be talking about it's, it's hard it's hard no it's not family no it's not i don't want to do that stuff family i don't want to do none of that sin family I don't want none of that stuff, family. I don't want none of that to taint my spirit and be up on me like a like a uh it, it sin be up on I, I want I want clean garments up over here. I want to shine for the most highest family. My sin would be like somebody throwing blood on me. No, family, no, family, no, family, no, family. I got on on clothes, I'm shining right now. The most high Yah is looking at me, the most highest, and I'm shining. But if I go up over there giving that sin, it's no differently than somebody coming up to me with blood in a cup and throwing it on me, family. I don't want it, family. So when you come up over here, you're getting real love and you're getting real honest, loving people who love Yah that's going to pray for you. But I need you to assemble yourself with brothers and sisters. That family, family, if I open the church right here, I would want you to come see me at the church, family. Just so I can see your face, so I can know who I'm praying for, family. But I need you to get up and, and, and family, even if you only go three times out the year. Don't, them people who be going up over there to, to serve God every single week, bless their heart, family. Bless their heart, family. Their heart is in the right place and they can do that. But people like us, family, you need to get in the world and you need to live upon it now. You know what I'm saying? You need to get up in the world and live upon it. But I still need you to go up over there, family. I need you to do that. Just like I need you to come at this nine o'clock prayer hour because we're going to pray for you there too, family. You need as many people praying for you in your life. What did your brother tell you in the given sense in time to where God put someone on your mind? All the heavens is calling and everybody on earth that know that person need to pray for that person at that given time, family. It's no many. It's, it's no telling how many times that you have come across so many different minds of people. You know, like the like you send out like like a text message family on your cell phone and, and you have the option to send that one message to all the people. It's the same thing, family. It's the same thing. He's calling. Now, who going to pray for that person? I need you to go on ahead and get up in there. Hallelujah. I need you to go and bring your peace offering. Bring your goodwill offering. Bring your free will offering. Bring your, 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 your blessing. I still want you to bless people out here in the world. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I still want you to bless those people in the world, but I need you to get in this house, family. I told you, you are more than welcome to spend any time and get all this knowledge. And yeah, I got them goods. I got whatever they got at that, that church. I got it right here and I'm giving it to you. But that's not the point. The point is that you need to be around your brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Yah for his glory. Hallelujah for his grace. Hallelujah for his mercy. Hallelujah for his presence and his hand of protection upon us. all life. All glory be given to Yah for he is worthy. Now, family, can I go ahead and throw myself under the bus? I probably haven't thrown myself under the bus in a long time. Let me talk to my young people out there in the world. I want to say two things to my young people. Uh, young black men, you better get up out here and work. You better get up out here and you better get it to work. Don't come asking me for nothing. <laughs> and you be like, damn, Jehosa, why you say, why, brother, why, brother? Family, I'm supposed to help children and, and, and women who ain't got no, uh, and feel sorry for people who really ain't got it like that. But I'm seeing a lot of my younger brothers. It's show sure asking for a lot of whole lot of help and they need to get up out here and help themselves. They really do. You know what I'm saying? They think I'm being, you could think I'm being harsh. I'm your bigger brother. I don't care. I'm going to tell you what that real is. And yes, I'm your pastor. So I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Check this out. When I was some of y'all ages, that's all I did was work. I'm, we working. When you see a man like me out in the world, just know we have worked for every single thing that we have. And we're not going to ask for nobody help like that. We're going to go out here and get it. So when I when I see younger men so young and they're not willing to get it, family, 
If you can only imagine some of the things that I hear a well-bodied young man tell me, family, and then older people tell me, well, they don't want to work. They don't want to work. But damn it, uh, this one came and bit me smooth off in my ass because I didn't want to believe it, family. But now as I see it, family, now as I see it, family, I wasn't doing those things out in the world like that, family. Even though I might have been in those gangs, I was still hard working, family. I had a different ethic, family. I come from a different era, family. I really do, family, of hardworking men, family, a bust our fingers to the grind to the bone family blood and everything but we gonna get it family so when i see some of these younger black men and they come up to me with a hand out and you're not willing to get it yourself just know that i would never degrade myself they say you shouldn't have pride but i would never degrade myself to ask somebody for something that i can get on my own you know what i'm saying i had somebody came up to me and they told me they said man i just need two dollars to get to my baby for some milk and this man got on brand new clothes on his body so it shows me that his priorities is not in order. You know what I'm saying? I would never tell another human being that, sir, I wouldn't stop you. Wherever you was at, I wouldn't just stop you off on the street, sir, tell you some sad story. And I'm a well-bodied man. I remember when my kids were younger, family, four and five. And I was living over there in the Alpine Apartments family. And it was hard on me because even though I seen my children and they spent the weekends with me, family, I was still paying child support, family. But then I was a single dad, family. So all of my bills ate up at me, family. And when they came to see their poor dad on the weekend, I only got a little bit of handful of morsels to give everybody, family. Our kitchen was looking like a desert. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it hurt me as a man. But we made it, you know what I'm saying? Because he put it on the dinner table, whatever I might be. If I didn't have a job, he still had me a hustle that I went out and I made sure that I provided for my, my family so we can eat family, so we can have some hard work family. I'm not going to sit here and take no time. Oh, sir, please. Can you help me? No, 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 family. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get a hustle and I'm going to get it. And I ain't got to put no gun to nobody back. It take a hard lot of work. I go out there all day, bust my ass family, bust my ass for $15 worth of groceries to feed my family. But it took all day long family you tell me who are men family you tell me who are men family you know what i'm saying so i'm telling you young people right now if you any age if you're not dirty if you're not busted if you don't look like an orphan don't ask me for anything because i have done so much hard work i will run circles around you of how much hard work i have done in my life i have done it all family back to throwing the fresno b family down to cutting grasses family to painting houses family to taking care of people you can't name a job that i didn't do at your age family or was on the grind getting sick Something to get something done, family. Getting something done, family. And if you can't, and if you can't afford to smoke weed, then damn it, maybe you don't need to smoke no damn weed. Maybe, maybe you, maybe your baby come first over your blunt and your drink. Then a damn, then a damn blunt and a drink. Then your baby. You know what I'm saying? Who, who come first? Your baby eating or you having a blunt? What comes first? You having them damn Nikes up on your shoes or your baby having some? So when you see a man like me out up in the street that work hard. Every single day of our life, ever since we was knee high, family, that we not playing no games with y'all. Hard working, man, no different than our ancestors of days of old. Don't ask us for nothing. Don't ask us for nothing. I told you the elders, they bless me with all kind of stuff because they see my character and how hard I work, family. How hard I work and they're not willing to give. I'm willing to give to somebody who's trying. But somebody who ain't got it and ain't trying, family, don't don't ask us for like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't even look like a man to me if you're not willing to get out there on your own, family. And you you might have think you might have been like, damn, Jehosa, damn, I but I get tired, family. And then with all of my elders is telling me, and then now I'm looking back at it the same. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? When I was out there, family, I was out there on the hustle, on the grind, getting mine, family. Whatever I I, I, I remember when I was 21 years old, and it was so damn hard to get a job. I had the mindset that I would shovel shit to make sure that my family gets something to eat tonight. Don't play with me, family. I have worked at swap malls and swap meets, cleaning up all kind of stuff. Don't play with me, family. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was 14 years old in the summer youth program. I worked that every single damn year. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was in the ninth grade, family. I went walking around and I found a lot, family. And this white dude gave me a job, family, fixing those cars after work, family. I remember my stepdad had a my stepdad had a lawn service, family. I'd be begging him every single day on the weekend, family, so he could put me on so I could come cut, cut some grasses on the weekend and get some paper up, family. I ain't never had no problem on no money like that, family. Especially younger now, nothing, family. Always willing. 
He blesses the labor of your hand. I remember when I was in the sixth grade and that white lady was pimping us, selling candy. Family, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was in the fifth grade and I would wake up four o'clock in the morning and, and bundle up some papers. Then get a, a, a cart that you see them homeless people pushing. Put all my papers in that damn cart. Push them down a damn street. Make my money, family. You know what I'm saying? Do my whole paper route and still take my black Hebrew self to school. You know what I'm saying? Hebrews like us, we're not hearing that. You gonna work for it. You know what I'm saying? God ain't gonna bless you if you're not willing to work for it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sorry, family. I'm sorry, family. I'm sorry. They gonna have to get up on their own and get it, family. I see too much of them uh, devotion in the crime. Family, if the devotion in the crime, they're already telling you who they are now, family. I wasn't doing none of, uh, none of that, family. I told you I was in all them gangs and everything, but I still did it like a man, family. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> okay, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Because some of my young brothers, they, oh, Joseph, brother, you getting so high, don't us. But I got it. Ain't nobody else going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? This is what you're going to have to do. You know what I'm saying? We were doing it. We were working hard, family. Hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to tell you, family. If you, let's put it like this. Let's, let's put it like this. This week alone, if you ain't if you ain't been somewhere and you've been so damn tired from the work that you have done, I don't know what you wasting your time for, family. Why do you think people like us stay fit, family, because we're working so damn hard, family? And you up over here and you ain't working and you asking, family. Am I judging you? I'll let God be the judge of that, but I'm telling you how it is, family. I never at one point said I was better than you. Not one time. But you're going to have to work, my brothers. You're going to have to get up out here and get it. And for all those that don't apply to this message, they needed to hear it, family. You know what I'm saying? For I love them and I don't want to see them acting like that. For they curse themselves. They, 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 now they are accepting curses now, family. I could never bring myself to, to even, I, as I look at my whole entire life, family, my whole entire life, I can actually sit here and tell you how many times I had to beg somebody and I know exactly where I was and what I was doing and how much money it was and everything, family. We don't do stuff like that, family. We got, they, they say you're not supposed to have pride. We have honor, family. I have honor about myself, family, and I'm not going to do that. You going to have to get on the grind, family. On the grind, family. Let's put it like this. When I go when I go to work, people look at me because they know I'm going to get the job done. They know, oh, you, you, you didn't even take a break. You got to go take a break. <laughs> okay, family, let's go ahead and get into lessons for tonight because our time is running, family. And I told you, family. I make this stuff looks easy because God is with me, family. I don't even have to, I don't even really have to sit up here and do anything, family. I let his spirit compel me, family. I let his spirit hold my hand, family. I listens, family. When he tell me to do something, I listens to him, family. And I do it, family. And I told you, family, I'm not going to waste that much time before I start putting the heavy hands on myself, family, to beat my own self down, to act right, family. It's in our hands, family. It's in our hands, family. Not nobody else's family. We can walk up to heaven, family. Hand in hand and everything. Cum the lie and everything. But only you can get yourself in there. Now let's go ahead and get into studies, family. Let me backtrack to where I had left off to make... So we went over every single thing. Family, go ahead. All my brothers and sisters, go ahead and throw your hands in the air. Both hands, but both hands are right hand. All glory be given to Yah. Father, I ask that you bless the fruits of their mind. I ask that you bless the fruits of their body. Keep their mind witty, Father, smart. I ask that you keep their body strong, Father, free of any disease, any sickness. I ask that you bless they, the fruits of their mind, the fruits of their bodies. I ask that you bless their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives. I ask that you bless... Their whole household, Father, cover it in the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I ask that you bless them, Father, in all the ways that you will bless your children. I ask that you put your hand of protection. I ask that you put your hand of 
grace on them. I ask that you put your hand of mercy on them. I ask that you put your hand of blessing upon them. I ask that you open the doors of all your all your favors that pour upon all my brothers and sisters out there in this very world that love you, Father. I ask that you bless all the goodness and the righteousness that you have put in them to shine to this dark world, Father, that we are in, to be ambassadors of your truth, ambassadors of your holiness, Father, for you are worthy. Father, I ask that you bless all my brothers and sisters out there in Yeshua HaMashiach name. Family, all glory for you are worthy, Father. All glory to you, Father, for you are worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters who have blessed me. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you for blessing me as well, family. Now, family, let's make sure we didn't mess up here. And I'm not off track, family. And... Oh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was this, family, and more directed to my younger people as well, family. Now, family, um, when y'all get married, family, and you thinking about getting married, family, don't, for me, I don't want you attracted by what they are looking like, and I don't want you to be attracted on no sex, family. That's where I messed up, family. That's where I messed up. When I was younger, family, I messed up, family. I did, family. I didn't know no better because nobody didn't teach me and I didn't know no better, family. I didn't, family. But when you know some damn better, it's time for you to get some damn better. Now I know, family, you know what I'm saying? But don't make your brother's mistake, you know what I'm saying? Eye candy or, or, or sex, family. I, your brother had to find out that being married is not all about sex, I said it just like that. I messed up, family. That's what I thought, family. I thought, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was immature, family. I was immature at a young man's age. I thought when you got married that you just be having sex. You know what I'm saying? That's where all my mind was. You know what I'm saying? I want to get married so I can have some sex. You know what I'm saying? I knew that you couldn't have sex without being married. I was at least that smart. But I thought that sex, that marriage was sex, that, that meant the same thing. Like sex was marriage and marriage was sex. But it doesn't work that way, family. It doesn't marry. Marriage is not sex, family. Marriage is not sex, family. It is not, family. And as I look at my, my life, family, now, family, as it's been a long road and your brother has come so far, family, so many different hills and so many different mountaintops, family. And as I look at life now, family, I understand, family. It's not about all about sex and what that person looks like. <laughs> Ah, family, and you know what your brother, what, what I've been preaching to you is that I want you to have somebody that is beautiful on the inside and know what faith is, family. Family, faith will get you through a whole lot of family. It will, family. It will, family. And to, I know I broke a lot of my brother's heart. A lot of my brothers was like, oh, Jehovah, brother, what you mean, brother? I'm barely 21, brother. I just got married. I was a bachelor. I want some sex, 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 baby. I want some sex. But brother, brother, it's not all about sex with your wife. It's about you and her coming. See, I'm older now. I can speak on it. It's about you and her coming together as one and serving Yah. That's all I want to do with my, my wife, my, my future wife that he blesses me with. I want to do that, family. Now, sex is a plus, family. That's a plus, family. I, I, I got a list and everything. That's a plus on there. She be cooking dinner. That's a plus. You know what I'm saying? She, she know how to make love. That's a plus. You know what I'm saying? Those are pluses, family. But that's not what it's about. It's about coming together as one and worshiping the Most High Yah. Any great person, any patriarch, any great man or woman in, in Yah's work, that's what they did, family. That's what it was. They had a whole lot of faith with inside of them, and they grew together as one, family. I got to put Adam and Eve up here, family, because even they did that, family. You know what I'm saying? Even even, even Adam and Eve grew together as one. Who, 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 this, who this is? Even Joseph, Joseph and Mary grew together as one. One. All the great people up in the Bible, the, the great men and the great women grew together as one. That's what a, that's what a marriage is, family. It's not about sex. It's not about, oh, she can do this. Oh, he can do this for me. Oh, he can do this. Oh, he can do this for me. Oh, he can do that for me. Oh, he can do this for me. Oh, he, oh she can do that for me. Oh, she just a big freak. Oh, 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 hell, he, he do it just the way I can. No, 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 no. No, don't waste your time. Don't waste your life because you know I'm I'm infamous for telling you. Sex get old. And people fall out of love that don't have faith. 
So what are you going to do? Learn by your brother here mistake as I toss myself under the fire uh, to be judged and I can't say criminalized, but ridiculed in the same family. I, th I threw myself under the bus to help my brothers and sisters out there. You know what I'm saying? I told you, sister, sister, if he ain't faithful, you, you can judge any man on being faithful, sister. If he, if he ain't faithful with the mail. If he ain't faithful with the laundry, if he ain't faithful with taking out the trash, then how you going to expect him to be a good man, sister? He wasn't even faithful with taking out the damn trash or checking the damn mail. You know what I'm saying? Brother, 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 she couldn't even do the, the, do the damn dishes or do your clothes. Faithfully, you know what I'm saying? Faithfully. If they couldn't even do that, you, you know you messing with somebody who ain't got no, nothing about no faith, family. You must find a faithful person and that aspect runs across with any relationship. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be a husband or wife. You know what I'm saying? Man, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let me go ahead and pull in Jonathan in this family. Can I pull Jonathan up in this family? Now... Jonathan was willing to give David his sword and his bow and his cloak family was with the prince had family. That was the prince's gear family. He was willing to do that for a friend family. He was willing to make an oath with him that he would stay by until the day he died. Let me ask you, a, let me ask you, how many people will make an oath with you right now? If your so-called friend, them people you chilling with and they saying all of this and you think they know, which one to make an oath? If you don't know what an oath is, go look it up tonight. If they can't do that with you, then that is not your friend. If they not willing to get the clothes off your back, that is not your friend. If they not willing to take a good ass whooping with you, that is not your friend. You know what I'm saying? If they not willing to go that extra mile with you, it's not your friend. If they not willing to get in the hot Grease with you? That's not your friend. If they not willing to go over and beyond for you, that is not your friend. If they not willing to walk in your shoes, it's not your friend. If they not willing to do things for you, it's not your friend. If they're not willing to love you the way that you need to be loved, to 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 the, the love that you give to reciprocate it back, family. If they're not even willing to do that, that is not your friend. You know what I'm saying? Jonathan was willing to to. Okay, now King David. He really wanted David dead, family, for a long time, family, long time. When he was a little boy, he'd still be trying to kill him, family. He was the king of all Israel, so nobody couldn't say nothing about it, family. If that was modern day, family, he would go to jail, family, but he'd be trying to kill him, family. The same things that Saul did to David, he did that to his son. He tried to kill his son over David. So if they're not willing to get in the hot grease, if they're not willing to take the clothes off your back, if they're not willing to make an oath, if they can't love you the way love is really, love outstands all time. Love ain't asking for nothing. Love is willing to give. You know what I'm saying? You see these fake people, all they know is how to take, 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 take. That's all they do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I hated to bring up David and, and Jonathan up in this, but they had a true friendship. That's what you that's what true friendship is, family. It is family. It is family. And if those people are not willing to do that, then that is not your friend, family. Straight up, family. OK, family, let's go ahead and get into lessons for tonight. OK, we did this one. Yeshua wants you to have peace and compassion this week with a forgiving heart. That means you don't have to. You have, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, family. So we already went through this. That's what the Lord was requiring of us to do for this week. He was asking us to be sweet in all of our actions. When we're dealing with any type of people, if you have hatred inside of your heart, you will not be able to de de uh, demonstrate any of these actions that I put before you here today. And he wanted to be sweet to the high heavens, family. It's a lot of people this week that's going to be stanky. He don't want you stanking to God this week, family. He doesn't, family. He wants you smelling good, family. He wants you to be that sweet smelling aroma of that nice loaf of bread that was put in the oven, family, that smells so damn sweet, family. He wants you to bake in them oven like them cakes that your grandma was cooking before she put that chocolate frosting on it, family. Sounds so damn delicious, don't it, family? That's what he wants you to do this week, my brother. That's what he wants you to do, my sister. So, yeah, we went over that. Okay, now, if you know that whatever it is you want will be attacked, you must ask yourself, 
What is it that you want and why? Now I ask you, will you be mad after will you be mad after at the father when it attacks those things in which you desire? So yeah, we talked about that. Uh, I feel very comfortable on how I explained it. And family, these forces, family, now now you, you don't you don't see the tide, you don't see the forces that's actually pulling the sea back to make the great waves inside of the ocean. But these are the forces of the elements that he has put in the creations of these existence of these planes of the world that we live on, family. So we don't have to see them for these things to still be in motion to operate in our lives, family. So you know what was what was said? I mean, every single word that I said about it, what are you going to do? Okay, now, yeah, we did that. I feel very comfortable on how I said that. Okay, sometimes it is good to run away or hide. Let me stop right there. Let me stop right there. Now, a lot of my brothers say, I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk, nigga. I ain't no punk. Oh, oh you talk to me, be strong Hebrew man. And now he over there, oh, so over there saying, oh, oh, you try to be like a punk. He's telling me to go hide. You can go to hide. Family, sometimes you got to hide. Family, the Lord had to hide. Family, it was people trying to kill him. Family, you know what I'm saying? It was people trying to kill him, bust him up in the head with rocks, stab him with daggers. Family, they was trying to get poor Yashu and push him off of cliffs and stuff. Family, and we ain't even talking about the devil. Family, we talking about people. Family, so, 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 what am I saying? Family, yeah, family, every great man in the Bible at some point they had to run. They had to hide, family. They had to, family. Ain't no shame in, 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 in running, family. I'm sorry, family. Ain't no shame in that, family. I'm sorry, family. You, you can be mad at me all day. All I know is I came outside the gate and it was two big pet bulls chasing me, family. You thought I was just going to sit there and get towed up, family? You out your damn mind, family. I jumped myself back up over that gate, family. Sometimes it is good to run away or hide. Some of the great men had to do so, but... All, I'm sorry, do so, but it's all a time to stand your, it is a time to stand your ground and fight. There is no shame in running oh, running or hiding for that day. I, so I tell you, family, family, it's a time and a place for everything, family. It's a time to stand your ground and fight, family. It is, family. It is, family. But if David wasn't running from Saul, he would have killed him. So I can't sit up here and tell you logically. See, them other bad Hebrews, they don't know what the hell I'm talking about because they sitting up over there. I'm so tough. I'm such a man. But th that's why Pookie didn't make it home. Because he should have ran away, family. You know what I'm saying? It's great people who had to run, family. They was on the run, family. Hiding, family. Hiding, family. And if you look up right now, Yahshua. Hamashiach, he is the most popular man who has ever lived in the world. And he had to run and he had to hide. And you telling me you live, you believe in him and you ain't going to have to run. And you ain't going to have to hide. And you ain't going to swallow your damn pride. And it could cost you your damn life. Nah, 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 nah. We're not going to play these silly games for people who's not going to make it. For my brothers and sisters who want to make it. There is no shame with running. It's no shame with hiding, family. The greatest men in the world have to do that, family. It's some cold generals that said sometimes we had to repeat and we had to retreat and come back with more norm, norm, numbers to, uh, to flank them and do whatever, family. You know what I'm saying? Great men that didn't want to lose the battle. So that's what you want, family? You, I, 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 Now, we can lose the battle, but we're we going to win the war, family. You know what I'm saying? We, we might lose the battle today, family. We might, family. We might have to lose the damn battle today, family. But it's more important we win the war family you have to understand that family so what you're gonna be you're gonna be like the people oh, i'm gonna stay and fight and then you win the war and it costs you your damn everything no family no family you don't have to listen to that nonsense or give in family there's no shame family there's no shame at all family i'm telling you family as your brother and my father and the foundation that i stand on family of all of his grace family i'm telling you family i'm gonna win the war family we got our whole life to battle, family. I don't even have to put my Lord's name behind it, family. I'm serious with it, family. Okay, sometimes it is good to run away or hide. Some of oh, brother Jehovah, see, I see, brother, and brother, see, here you go again, but you telling people to be soft. You told him last week. You said now you talking. Here you go again. He talking. He said. He said you gotta hide. Ain't no shame in running. Man, they gonna see him. See him think I'm a punk, but I can't be no punk. I can't catch them doing this. So you gonna be one of them people, family that. Telling you, family, just look on the news, family. 
Okay, okay, stand. Okay, now, sometimes it is good to run away or hide. Some of the great men had to do so, but it is a time to stand your ground and fight. There is no shame in running or hiding for a day to fight will come. Will you stand your ground? So the day, check this out, the day you really got to fight, you're going to have to fight, family. You know what I'm saying? You're really going to have to fight. But all of that non-other sense, you didn't have to do none of that, family. You didn't have to get into none of that bull, none of that, none of that, well, stop. You didn't have to get into none of that stuff, family. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to get into none of that stuff. I want you to be discreet, family. I want you to be the slower anger, family. And I'm telling you, it takes more of a man to walk away. It really does, family. I'm not telling you not to watch your back for a brick, but family, I'm telling you to walk away, family. It's still going to come a day to where you're going to have to stand your... You can't get out of that fight, family. And you're going to have to fight, family. So what you going to do? You're going to sit here through all these little tiny battles and fight all of them damn people. And then when the war come, you lose the damn war, family. What is you doing? You know what I'm saying? What you going to do, brother? You know what I'm saying? Sister, sister, you can fight them chicken heads all down the block all you want. But it's going to come a time to where you really going to have to fight. You're going to be tired. You ain't even going to want to fight no more because all them, all them squabbles done took you out. Is that what you want? Is that what you need? You know what I'm saying? Is that what you want? Okay, moving on to the next one. Because I lost a lot of people on that one. I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. Whatever, 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 whatever. I told you what's going to happen to you. <laughs> you don't have to believe I. <laughs> okay, moving to the next one. Okay, now, your enemies are all... Your enemies are over there planning on all the things they would like to, to happen to you. Can I stop right here now? Family, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, family. My enemies, I don't even know them like that, family. But they up over there, they thinking about all the little things they want to do to me, family. They is, family. It, it pleasures them, family, to think about all that stuff, family. They be up over there. They be like, oh, I wish this happened to Jehosa. Oh, I wish this happened to oh, Jehosa. Oh, I wish that happened to Jehosa too. I wish that happened to him. Please, 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 please. I wish it happened to him. They over there wishing all of that stuff and thinking that stuff. Do they know that stuff is going to happen to them, family? I'm a child of the most highest family. Of the most highest family. I'm going to do everything to please him in my life, family. That means everything to me. I'm not these other people who've been faking it, family. We really standing on every single thing of our fathers. So check this out, family. They up over there thinking about cutting off my fingers, family. They're going to get their fingers cut off, family. They up over there thinking that they're going to rip out my tongue, family. They can never speak again, family. So just think, family, all of those things, family, that they're thinking. They're thinking about some this, some evil stuff, family, some evil stuff. they thinking about pulling a Suge Knight, family. You know what I'm saying? So Even though they're thinking all of that stuff, they're hurting their self in the background because I'm a child of the most highest, family. All of that hatred and stuff, it doesn't disperse, family. It doesn't fade away. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go away like you just rain the towel on the hot ground and evapor and it was a hot and it was so hot that the water droplets evaporated. It doesn't go away, family. It has to go somewhere, family. That's still that's still a, cre a creation of hate, family. Something manufactured, family. Now, let's keep going. Your enemies are over there planning on all the things they would like to happen to you. By you loving and following after Yah, all those plans will be turned on their own heads. That is a promise from the highest family. That is a promise from the highest family. Do you understand that family? Now look at your brother in my situation. I have done no wrong to them. There is nothing on my hands. Like there was no, no blood on my hands family. I ain't did nothing to them people like that family. They can't call it on no single day, family, but they hate me so much and every single thing that they hated on me is going to turn around and happen to them. It's dangerous when you mess with children with y'all, family. It is, family, and they just hating, family. They up over there hating on me, family. Those are just words, family, that's turning into doom and destruction to them, family. It's sad, family. So I want you to stand on this promise from y'all, family. I want you to stand on it, family. And and if you do know who these people is, just know some bad things are going to start happening to them, family. All around, family. All around, family. For I would never ask him to forget his enemies. And they are his enemies, family. And he will send all of his righteous hand upon them, family. He will, family. He will. This hand of judgments will be laid upon their very head, family. They will, family.
Okay, let's move to the next one. Are we still are we still on the one? Your enemies are over there planning on all the things they would like to happen to you. By you loving and following after Yah, all these plans will be turned on their own heads. I'm telling you, family, that's a promise, family. We can move on. That's a promise, family. Okay, now. Okay, this is what this is what Samuel said. Then Samuel said to the people, It is the Lord who raised up Moses and Aaron, and who has brought your fathers up from the land of Egypt. It it this time our people long for a king, but Yah waited to tell them they they themselves don't know what's best for, for us. Only he he knows. Now let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. So Samuel, he told the people, the people, they were crying out to Samuel. They were like, Samuel, 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 give us a king. Oh, give us a king. We need a king. Oh, we want to be like the many nations. We gotta be like them. We want to be like all oh, them. Samuel, give us you the man of God. Come on, Samuel, give me a king. So Samuel's like, oh man, okay. Okay, they don't know. Father, they don't even know what they want, Father. They over here asking for a king. They don't even know what he going to do to them like that. You know what I'm saying? So we as people, we don't know what we want, family. We don't even know what we want, family. We really don't, family. We already have the highest up over us. Look at the people. They already have something good over them, and they didn't even know it, family. We as his children right here, right now, we're the same way, family. We're the same way. No different than them, family. They was calling out for a king. They calling out for a king, family. You know what I'm saying? They wanted that king so bad, family, but they already had Yah and they life that was over them, family. All they had to do is follow him. Okay, let's keep on going. So we, we as people, family, we really don't know what we want like that, family. We don't know what's good for us like that, family. Only he knows, family. Okay, now... Samuel said to the people, it is the Lord who raised up Moses and Aaron and who brought your fathers up from the land of Egypt. It is this time our people long for a king, but Yah wanted to tell them they themselves don't know what's best for us. Only he knows. Fear the Lord, serve him, worship him, honor him with lifting, with lifting righteousness up. His holiness, his righteousness, and all his ways seen and known as holiness is given from his truth. However, if you do not obey the voice, the Lord, but let me stop, family. Let me stop now. Okay, I'm reading all this stuff, family, but I didn't write this, family. This is all from Samuel. This is what he wanted to tell the people, but it's, it's, it's in... Um, I don't want to say an ingredients, but but it's in concord to what we're saying here, family. That's why I'm saying it. Everything he said, family, I want you to hear what he what he said, and he told the people, family, for only probably I only probably added just a little bit, maybe I don't I don't even think so. This is all his words. Okay, now y'all wanted to tell them they themselves don't know what's best for us. Only he knows. Fear the Lord, serve him, worship him, honor him with lifting up righteousness, up holiness, righteousness in all his ways, seen and known as holiness is given from his truth. However, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandments of of the Lord, then the hand of the Lord will be against you as it was against your fathers, O house of Israel, so-called African-Americans. So that was all Samuel. You know what I'm saying? It was. I mean, only added, only added so-called African-Americans. And when uh, lifting up, well, no, fear. No, no, that wasn't me. Don't know what's best for us. Only he knows. Nope, that wasn't even the king to tell him they wanted for the fear of the Lord. No, this is all Samuel, family. It's all Samuel. Only add in so-called African-Americans at the end because you're the ancestors. Family. Ain't nothing different, family. We don't know, family. Oh, house of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh house of Judah. We don't know house of Jerusalem. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's best for us. Y'all knows what's best for you and your life, brother. If your ancestors didn't know, I'm telling you, you don't know, family. And we covered this, but I still have to say what Samuel said, family, because it's in, in concord to what we said, family. And that's everything that he said, family. Go out there, my brothers, and rebel against him and see what he does to you. Rebel against all this goodness of this commandment, and he will weigh down on you, family, with all of his cursings, family. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, 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 okay. Now, 
family, okay, now this is just me roughly talking real quick, family. Let me roughly talk real quick. Now, family, for some reason, God, he has all the power in the world, family, but it, it's a shortage on seats in heaven, family. It's not that many seats in heaven, family. I don't know if you know this, family, but God, he has all the power in the whole universe, but it's only so many seats in heaven, family. So you need to think about that, family. You know what I'm saying? You got to think like, 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 look at this, look at this, family. Yah, the Lord of hosts, the most highest family, he has all power, family. He has all power of all known creation, family. And it's only a couple, it's only so many chairs in heaven, family. So what does that tell you, family? You dang right, family. You dang right, family. You know what I'm saying? All them chairs is taken. You know what I'm saying? All them chairs. You, you better have a chair up there, family. You better, you know what I'm saying? You better have, everybody has their own chair, family. It, it, it's not like it's extra chairs for extra people that's coming over on the weekend, family. There's only so many different chairs in heaven. If you love him, he'll make you one, family. He will, family. He'll make you a chair to sit down and everything, family. It's not a lot of chairs in heaven, family. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of people like, oh, Jehovah, you just playing. But no, I'm not playing with you, brother. It's only so many different chairs in heaven, family. And if you ain't got one, you ain't got one, family. It's a chair right now in heaven with my name on it, family. It is, family. Chilling right now, family. It's in gold letters that say my name right on it, family. You know what I'm saying? You better get your chair, family. It's only so many, family. He's not just giving them to everybody like that, family. He's not, family. He's not just saying, oh, well, I made your soul here. You go with the chair. You can come be with No, family. No, family. He is the God of the heavens, family. There's only so many chairs in heaven, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. You better get yourself a chair, family. This ain't no game, family. You know what I'm saying? There's only so many chairs in heaven, family. I'm trying to tell you. I wish I could count that big number, family. But I can't, family. There's too many billions of trillions of zillions of people, family. Quadruple, quadrillions, family. I don't know, family. Quadrillions. I don't know, family. You know what I'm saying? But it's only so many, family. It's only so many, family. And if you're not working on your chair, you ain't going to get it, family. It's sad, family. I'm just talking roughly, family. It's a sad business. I was thinking about it today. I was like, oh, Father, that's messed up. It's only so many chairs in heaven. They better get them a seat, family. We ain't talking about musical chairs, family. They better get them a seat, family. Okay, now, a side note for the night, yes, ma'am, no, sir, side note for the night. And we got about like like 10 more minutes, family, then your brother, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to get up off of here, family. Because, family, because look, 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 the nine o'clock per hour is right there, family. And you know, we got hard preaching all week and I don't want to fall behind, family. I don't, family. I really don't, family. It is easy for y'all to take, to talk to you if your mind is on him. That's how you keep the line open with him. It is family. It is family. Remember how people, for some reason, people think that that yeah, they're not li that he's not listening. Family, you know what I'm saying? They think that they pray and it just went down a, a, a rabbit hole or something. Family, a sinkhole, and it just fell or something like that. Family, for some reason, they don't understand that you got a walkie-talkie. Family, he gave us a walkie-talkie. Family, he he gave us a cell phone. Family, he gave it to us. Family, it's better than the, it's better than the cell phone because all you got to do is start praying. Family, but they don't understand. Family, the concept of the walkie-talkie. You press the button, you talk. You let the button off and he talks back family for some reason nobody believes this family for some reason they don't think he talked family they don't think that the god of heaven is actually talking to people that live in on the earth november 27 2018 they don't think he talked back family at all family but it's not that it's it's not that they don't keep they linked up with god family you got to stay on god channel family you know what I'm saying? You got to stay prayed up, talking to God, being on his on his wavelength, family. All day long, you got to be with your father, family, to hear directly from him, family. You have to, family, or you're not going to acknowledge it as him like that. You're not, family. They tuned out, family. We up over here on Channel 7, family. They way on Channel 75, family. How they going to hear God, family? They got the outside world and all the distractions and everything that's on their heart and all they lust and all that. They not even on God Channel, family. How can they hear from him? They didn't even want to tune into the channel and be praying to him all day just to see what he is saying, family. We up over here waiting, family, for words from him. Dude, you, I told you, family. The word of God, I'm alive, but when God talks to me, I get reactivated, family. Don't play with me, family. It's power that he gives us, family, to wait on him, family, for him to speak, family, for him to say something, family. But for some reason, 
in this world, don't nobody believe that he is actually up, up here talking, family. You could talk to your father at all times. And guess what, family? Guess what, family? He's going to talk back. Hallelujah, family. Throw your hands up for you are blessed, for you know the true Yah. You know I'm telling you the truth, family. It's just like a cell phone, family. Let's put it like this. If you're, if you're on the channel and you're not paying attention, you might miss the damn message, family. I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying, family. You could be on the channel and you could start getting off into this world and you still miss the message, family. I'm just saying your mind has to be focused on him. Your mind has to be concentrated on him. Your mind has to be on his channel, family, of what he's doing, of what he wants, family. You have to stay prayed up with him, family. That's why it's so important to start with your prayer. Okay. Side note number two. Uh, yes, ma'am. No, sir. Uh, side note number two. Uh. Okay. Um, just because you can receive his Holy Spirit does not mean you don't have to be baptized. Let me stop. Let me stop. No, let me stop. Family, you don't want me to put my hands on your family. You don't want me to do it, family. Family, you got, you got, I'm blessed, family. I'm blessed, family. You don't want me to... I change your life, family. You don't want me to bless you. You don't want me to baptize you, family. There's no telling how I might change you, family. Or who around in my camp, family, that I teach, family. You don't, you don't want to mess with us like that, family. You might catch the spirit. But just because, family... That, that you can receive the Holy Spirit. You still have to go get baptized, family. You know what I'm saying? You can receive the Holy Spirit at Safe Mart, family. You can receive the Holy Spirit while you're walking down the street. Yes, you can. But just because you receive the Holy Spirit, you still have to go get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Family, you still got to go be dipped in water, family, and baptized in the name of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. You still have to go do it, family. You're going to come up feeling like a million dollars, family. Don't let me put my hands on you and baptize you, family. You, you will feel rejuvenated, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. You're going to feel this up over. You're going to feel... Family, family, let's put it like this, family. You remember when, 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 when John was baptizing Yeshua, and he pulled him up out the water, and the skies opened up, and the voice of the mighty Lord came out and said, Behold, this is my son and who I am most proud of. You know what I'm saying? Remember that, family? If I if I if I baptize you, that's what you might feel like, family. I'm just saying, family. You're gonna you gonna see God open up his skies for you, family. I got some real love, family, for the for the most highest family. But uh back to back to up over here, family. Just because, family, just because you, you got the Holy Spirit doesn't mean that you don't have to be baptized, family. You still gotta be baptized in Jesus' name, family. You still gotta go do that, family. Still gotta do that, family, and Find someone who, find a pastor family or find somebody who loves it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pastor. It could be your grandfather who loves y'all yeah, family. It could be anybody who loves God family. Anybody family. I prefer it to be your pastor because he knows what he's doing. But I'm pretty sure somebody who's been reading scripture know what the heck they doing family for 20, 30 years. I'm pretty sure they know what they doing family. Side no. For the night, you gotta get baptized in his name. You can feel the spirit, you can catch the spirit, still gotta get baptized. You gotta open the line, gotta be on God's channel number seven, or number 77, wherever it might be. Side note for the night. Now let's move on. Okay, we finished that one. We got the side notes. Got that. Got that. Today is 11 27, 2018. Got it. Because I told you, family, I'm going to start signing and dating, family. Signing and dating, family. And putting my autograph on things, family. And I taught you back that way back when. Don't play, family. I already told you that, family. I went over everything that that book says to you several times. You just don't understand, family, that you just need it repeatedly, family. Retitiously, family. Fed into you, family. After I'm finished with you, you gonna understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not sitting up here. I, I'm not sitting sitting up here for somebody who studied. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm. I come for the people who don't know, family. I come to give you that crave. I came to give you that thirst for His Word, family. I came to give you all His knowledge, all His wisdom, all His peace, all His understanding, all of His revelation, family, of all of His truth, family. For for those who don't have it. 
Oh, the only reason why old black people listen to me because they get a kick out of listening to the truth come from a young person. It's the only reason. Like, how he know that? How he, you know, that's the only reason why they listen to me. Everything that I that I'm telling them, that I'm teaching to you, they already know that, and they practice it every single day. It makes them feel good just to see a young person of my caliber, of my age, preaching all of this because they don't see it out in the world, and it's not out there like that, family. It's not, family. It's sad, family. It's sad. A lot of y'all, y'all don't got nobody like me and your whole family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. And then those got that got people like me, they run them off and run them away. Sad, family. Sad, family. Hold on to his truth of his righteousness, Father. Family. Now, okay, we did that. We told you, Samuel told the people they don't know what they want. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't know what we want, family. None of us, family. Only he knows what we want. That's what he said to the people, family. And since your people ain't no different, family, you just like your ancestors, family. They didn't know. Now y'all acting like y'all don't know, family. I'm just trying to tell you, family. We're walking steps up over here. Okay, let's move to the next one. The prophet Samuel said to the people, do not fear. You have done all the wickedness, yet do not turn aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all of your heart. I'm, I just got to read it again. You have done all this wicked yet, yet do not turn aside from following the Lord. Serve, but to serve the Lord with all your heart and do not turn aside for then would go. I'm sorry, for then you would go after empty things which cannot profit or deliver for they are nothing. So this is how Samuel feels. You know what I'm saying? This is how Samuel feels about anything else. In this world, family, he telling you the Sam, the prophet, one of the greatest men, one of the greatest men of Yah that served God ever since he was a baby, family, at least like five years old, all the way until he died, family, at like a hundred, family. Come on now, he served God every day of his conscious being, family, and God walked with him. And this is what he told the people. But it, it, it's a shame that even though Samuel said this 2,000 years ago, it's still Holds up to this day, family. It still holds up to this day, family. What did, what did Samuel say? Let's go over it again. The prophet Samuel said to, to the people, Do not fear. You have done all the wickedness, yet do not turn aside from following the Lord, but to serve, to serve the Lord with all of your heart. And do not turn aside, for then you would go after empty things. So he's saying that. Anything besides from God is going to lead you to something that's empty, family. Everything is empty. God is full. He's full, family. He has enough to go around. But everything else in this world comes to a point to where it's empty. He said everything in this world is empty if it not be Yah, family. Okay, for thee, for would go after empty things which cannot profit or deliver, for they are nothing. So, he telling you, he like, okay, now you going after all of those things and they won't even be able to save you. It won't even be able to, to profit you in the long run or anything. All of those things, family, will not be able to deliver you from evil, from the hand of sickness, from the hand of, of misfortune. None of that stuff, family. None of that stuff that life has to offer anybody naturally, family. And by you holding on to Yah, family, he going to deliver us, family. He going to make sure that we don't have to see none of that, family. Only enough to be tested. But those people, family, they will be empty for their whole life, family. So what is he saying, family? To live without God, you will be an empty person that's lost, that will have nobody to come and save you or fight with you or deliver you, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. And check this out, family. They spend their whole life like that. Their whole life like that. They'd be lost their whole life, family. You see them, family? You see them in your family. Don't act like you don't know who they are, family. You know who they are, family. Now, family... I thank you, family. Now, we're running up on the 9 o'clock prayer. I only got like 28 hour, twenty-eight minutes, family. So come make sure you be in the symbol, family. And a special shout out to all my brothers and sisters who've been coming to the 9 o'clock prayer hour. All glory be given to y'all for he is worthy. Thank you. You know we're praying for you and you know we love you, family. So come magnify, come glorify, come edify your father. Come tell him about the things that he has released you from in this world. And pray for these people. Pray for these people. The things that he brought you out of, pray that they get out them things family pray for those people who put that's on your heart on your mind on your spirit pray come pray tonight for your family you know what i'm saying come tonight and tell yashua how much you are thankful for who he is family for who he is is a reflection of who we are family hallelujah family 
And um, come get intimate with him, family. Come sing. Come do what you got to do, family. Five minutes, ten minutes. Give me your time, family. Give me your time to be here in the same, in the um at the nine o'clock prayer hour with your brothers and sisters across this world. Now you know, every time, any minute is a good time to pray. But I want you to come pray with those who love Yah, family. Come pour out your heart to Him tonight, family. Any night that you got it, family. We do this from month, from Sunday night to Friday night, family. Come get yourself some, family. You ain't you ain't got to do it alone, family. We here with you, family. And your heart, you you in the spirit. Come meet us in the spirit, family. Come meet your family in the spirit, family. We be there waiting and we'll be praying for you. Come pray for us, family, for we love you and we pray for you, family. Now, this has been your brother Jehoshaphat Israel. All glory be given to Yah, for he is the only one that's worthy. Peace and, and blessings to be upon all my brothers and sisters across that world. Hold on to your Yah. Hold on to his truth. Live for his truth, family. Until next time, family, a thousand blessings be unto you, family. And Yeshua HaMashiach's name, a thousand of his blessings be upon you, family. Until next time, all glory be given to Yah.